uh, in language development we will talk about the components of language and uh, as you know that uh, without components no language can uh, be learned or can be taught can be taught and can be you know understood so components ka matlab hai ki ek language jo hai koi bhi cheez jaise form hoti hai uske elements hote hain uske components hote hain isi tarah language ke components hain ab language ke components mein ek morphology ka jo hai wo aapne word suna hoga ab morphology term jo hai it's a greek and uh, is uh, make up of morph means shape morph ology to morph ka matlab hai shape ya कोई चीज़ किसी की कोई फॉर्म किसी भी चीज़ की ओलॉजी का मतलब जो है स्टडी ऑफ समथिंग सो मॉफोलॉजी मीन्स दैट द स्टडी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ समथिंग और बेसिक्स ऑफ एनी सिस्टम और एनी स्ट्रक्चर फॉर एग्जांपल बायोलॉजी एज द साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स स्टडी ऑफ ओलॉजी स्टडी ऑफ स्टडी किस चीज़ की बायो बायो का मतलब साइंटिफिक स्टडी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एनिमल्स बायो जो है वो स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एनिमल्स है और ओलॉजी है स्टडी ऑफ उसके बाद दूसरी इसकी एग्जांपल है जी जियोलॉजी एज द स्टडी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन एंड एवेलुएशन ऑफ रॉक्स एंड लैंड फॉर्म्स लैंड हाउ लैंड फॉर्म्स एंड हाउ द रॉक्स फॉर्म दिस इज द स्टडी ऑफ दीज थिंग्स सो ओलॉजी जो है वो स्टडी हो गया और जियोलॉजी और जो बायोलॉजी है ये दोनों चीज़ें जो हैं ये इसकी एग्जांपल हैं कि किस तरह से हम दो चीज़ों को मिला के किसी भी चीज़ का स्ट्रक्चर जो है जब स्टडी करने जाते हैं तो फिर हम ये वाली टर्म यूज़ करते हैं तो मॉर्फोलॉजी बेसिकली इज़ स्टडी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एनी थिंग अब यहाँ पे नॉलेज ऑफ द मॉर्फोलॉजी इज़ रिलेटेड टू वो कैबलरी डिवेलपमेंट एंड रिफ्लेक्ट्स द स्मॉलेस्ट बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स फॉर कॉम्प्रीहेंशन मॉर्फोलॉजी अब मॉर्फोलॉजी जो है ये वैबलरी डिवेलपमेंट है obviously when we are learning new words so we are actually uh, developing our language and we are actually increasing our uh, word bank when we have uh, enough word bank then we can communicate easily uh, in that language because when we are when we face problem or challenge in any language when we do not have enough word bank we do not know how to talk what to talk and uh, what to say uh on this uh, topic so that's why uh, because we we do not have the word bank we do not have uh, uh, ample library to to just uh, bring the words from the library to talk on so that's why we feel always uncomfortable in speaking any language so this morphology actually helps any learner to uh, make uh, vocabulary good vocabulary or uh, and also helps a learner to just uh, use uh, the required words according to the topic so this is very important component of the language and uh, uh, basically when we talk about all components of the language then we can just summarize these uh, all uh, components of language that uh, phoneme is the basic unit of language and is concerned with the sounds of alphabets so uh, the comp uh, the first component of the the language is phoneme that is basically giving you information about the sound of the language sound of the words sound and the connection of the uh, letters with the sounds or uh, any that uh, how this word is uh, you know you are pronouncing so for the pronunciation this is very helpful and phonology deals with the sounds in a language now when you learn the sounds of uh, words then uh, how to use these words according to the context that uh, study relates to phonology phonology will give you the structure to use these words according to the context that uh, which sound word is required for this perspective with which sound word is required for this perspective this is the whole uh, you know uh, uh, structural procedure or any you can say that the study phonology so it is actually the connection uh, collection of the phonemes and uh, morphology is related to the vocabulary building now the next step that we are taking in language learning then the morphology basically it is giving you help to increase to make your vocabulary and to use words from your library or vocabulary bank word bank 
and syntax it is also the component of language uh, deals with the structure of sentence and the sequence of words in it in syntax the word order is very important because if you say that i eat uh, apple or ab aap kahein ke ji i apple eat so ya yeah, apple eat i to wo word structure jo hai uska order jo hai jab aap disturb karte hain to uski meaning Uh, जो है वो भी डिफरेंट हो जाती है और ये डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है अगले बंदे को आपकी बात समझने के लिए सो सिंटेक्स ऑलवेज डील्स द वर्ड ऑर्डर एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेंटेंस एंड सीमेंटिक्स स्टडीज मीनिंग्स इन अ लैंग्वेज नाउ यू वांट टू गिव द नॉट ओनली यूजिंग द सेंटेंस बट आल्सो यू वॉन्ट टू गिव द मीनिंग टू अदर सो यू नो देर आर टाइप्स ऑफ मीनिंग्स समटाइम्स मीनिंग इज हिडन समटाइम्स मीनिंग इज ऑबियस and sometimes uh, meaning uh, the sentence has two meanings double meanings so this semantics actually help uh, other uh, person to understand what you want to say actually and uh, pragmatics studies human actions and their explanation by signs in language for example i'm saying like that or if i'm i'm saying like that always you see this sign that uh, from different uh, uh, platform that people when uh, they think that they have the victory then this they show this sign so this pragmatics uh, always studies the human action that i am giving the action right now and uh, what the meaning what is the meaning of this action or uh, when you are just uh, you know clapping or giving you know good gestures to other person so this part is always give you the meaning uh, of your action so these are all the components of language